Hello everyone, I am Dawson Cruz and I'm going to do a makeup tutorial for you today for the first time ever. When I wake up, I just check my face, see what it needs and I always start with a little bit of eye cream. I started doing eye cream maybe a year ago, <laughs> way too late. And I turned 34 this year and I realize I will have to start doing facials more often and use eye cream. So here we go, giving a good example to the young ones out there. Then I am putting some moisturizing cream and that I just rub in my hands like this and just massage all over. When you massage like this, it drains all the water out of your face. So it's really good to do this in the morning. Somebody told me that you have to make sure it goes all the way to the sides of your face. I have noticed a difference actually. When I do this every morning, I do feel like I have a less puffy face. Then next thing I do is I brush my eyebrows. Just like that. When I wake up, my eyebrows point downwards. Or when you know when you put a sweater on. <laughs> you have done your makeup and you put your sweater on and my I, my eyebrows will just hang downwards so I always make sure they're up concealer I dab my fingers like this and then I go around the eyes I take foundation and I put a lot I almost do it like it's a cream it goes on my lips too you see and then I do this. And don't forget the neck. It's your second face. I started looking after my neck the same time I started using creams and doing facials. It's not that long ago. You know, you take advantage of having anything good in your life. And my skin has always been good. But obviously I'm aging and I want to take care of it and age beautifully. I use my hands and I do that because it's it warms it up and it really massages it in. This is a tip I actually got from Pat McGrath. She would just massage it like it was a face massage and I wasn't used to that because everyone was always doing the little brushes and, and filling around and she was just going like this. And I feel like it's a really good way of making it look natural. Now I actually take this one, the Beauty Blender, and I I spend a lot of time on doing the skin more than anything else. I do like this. This is concealer to get rid of those bags. I definitely got more bags when I had my children, but I always had them, even in high school. Oh, and don't forget the ears, because otherwise they just little red things. Sometimes I put it a little bit in the hairline too. I think my favorite part are my eyelashes because they are blonde on top. So when I put mascara, you, you, you'll see, they will, it makes a big difference when I put it. Okay, next thing I do is I curl my eyelashes and this is something my children freak out when I do it. They do watch me put on makeup and my daughter, she loves it. And she wants to do it too, but she's too young. I think I was allowed when I went to high school before, I think I was around 10 years old and I would put a colored pencil and wet it. And just <laughs> when I was in school, I would just go to the bathroom and put lipstick on. So I kind of always liked makeup. What I really like to do is put a little bit of black pencil inside the eye, extend it a little bit like that so it makes the eye shape more almond instead of round. This is the kind of tricks you learn when you're a model. And then I'm going to do mascara. Sometimes I take a tissue. I go like this to take some of the mascara off so it doesn't become very 
thick and it makes it look more natural. Whoa. Huh. <laughs> I'm surprised by my own look. I think I have a little bit of a different makeup routine since I moved back to Amsterdam. I used to live in New York for 12 years. When I bring the kids to school, I do very little, very minimal uh, contour, a little bit of shading and that's it. And then when they're in school, I, I'll do some makeup, stuff like this. I don't like to, to wake up early just to do makeup. That's really the fact. So I'm doing some lip balm too. So I put a um, little bit of bronzer, then I blow on it to get most of it off and then I go very subtle like this and like on the cheeks and right here so you get a very nice contour but not heavy and then I go like everywhere. Now I have to do my eyebrows again. I'm going to brush my eyebrows. I think I'm going to extend them a little bit with the other side. And this is not a black color, it's kind of like a gray. Fill up the gaps and then make them a little bit longer. I pluck my eyebrows just in here, just a little bit, because I like them to be full. I've had my eyebrows dyed blonde for shows and for shoots and and it's a really great look I think for a picture it's it's really fun to look different it's part of my job to get different looks and be a different person almost sometimes so I li really like it but then when you have bleached eyebrows you you really need an eye so then I would come home and I would have bleached eyebrows and it takes forever to grow back I come home so many times from work and my daughter is in awe. She loves, she loves hair and makeup more than I do. And she just loves to see me come home with hair and makeup. And she's like, oh, mommy, you look so pretty. And it's so nice. Then I realize she doesn't even realize half the time what I do because she's only four. She only sees all these pretty dresses in my, in my closet that she wants that I save for her, of course. She's so different than I am. I am more of a tomboy and I never, I mean, up until 18 years old, I never did much makeup and I was always running around in the bush and, and she's the opposite. So now I finish up the look with a lip. And what I do usually, I just take the, the top like this and I put my finger here. Cause I kind of like a stained lip. I really don't like to have hair around when I do makeup. But now, since I'm going out tonight, I could take it down. So this is my first ever makeup tutorial and I had so much fun. I will see you soon. Doei!